good morning or good afternoon wherever you are. I have been getting overwhelming amount of questions on my Instagram about my faith. So I'm here to show you what my morning routine looks like with God and how I Bible study and how I've just been growing closer to him. Oh my God. This feels so weird. I have never in my life been this open about my faith. I feel like God is working through me and oh, I feel a little uncomfortable talking about this first and foremost, like, excuse me, but I'm gonna do my best. I've definitely struggled with my faith for the longest time. It hasn't been smooth sailing at all. I really just wanted to thank you all for the encouragement that you gave me on Instagram to just kind of do this. I feel like it's liberating for me, so thank you. I also really want to thank Fabletics for sponsoring this video. They're such a cool brand to work with, and I just have to say, there's not a lot of brands out there that are open to this kind of stuff. Thank you so much. They truly do represent what they stand for, which is inclusivity, so please go and show them lots of love. I will also be showing you some cute workout clothes that I have been rocking this month. Can't wait to share at the end. So I will usually wake up around seven-ish, and to me, this time is sacred. I always sleep with my Bible next to my bed. I like to leave it open. I just love dedicating the first hour of my day to reading scripture and really just thanking God. And then I also take my notebook with me, which is this little journal right here, it's the best. So I usually like to straight away change out of my PJ so I don't get like tempted to go back into bed and be there and be lazy all day. This is one of my favorite lounge sets from Fabletics. This material, you guys, if you could only feel it, it's so stretchy, so comfortable. I love the color. Pants literally feel just like the top, just super form-fitting, super stretchy. Nice to just kind of lounge around but still look cute. This is actually the Piper Seamless Bra and the High Waisted Seamless Rib Shorts. They are incredible. And just to stay nice and cozy, I also like to put the belly pullover over on top. It's just so soft. I wish you guys could feel this. Can you just feel this over the screen? Literally one of my favorite pieces this entire month. After I've changed into that, it's time to go downstairs. Now this time has become my little morning ritual. I've created this very airy, spacious area in my home for like studying. Now I like to make myself my tea when I first wake up. I'm currently really obsessed with the art of tea. Oh my God, you guys, it is the best tea I've ever had. It's so good. Thanks to Janine Emma Polo for this really cool Amazon gadget. It's a mug heater and it keeps your drink nice and warm while you read and just rejoice in God. I usually start off with a prayer. It's just really to thank God and ask him, please just illuminate me, allow me to find knowledge in the scripture, allow me to concentrate in your word because there's a lot of distractions in the words. An example of a prayer goes like this. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray you give me the knowledge and concentration for your word. I ask that whatever you want to tell me, God, you point it out to me in the scripture in Jesus' name, amen. Bam, that's it. One huge recommendation that has literally changed everything is to journal prayer. This allows you to just focus your mind on staying quiet. This helps me a ton because I'm very easily distracted by like social media and all that stuff. This is something super new I've started implementing and I think it's gonna be really fun to look back on and say, oh my God, God has accomplished this in my life or God has maybe removed this in my life. I accept his plan. I accept whatever he wants. So I've got a lot of questions as far as what Bible I use. I read from an ESV single column journaling Bible, which is so cool. You have your own little room here to journal anything that you want. My sister Angelica was sweet enough to actually give this to Dennis and I for our wedding gift. It gets even sweeter. She actually went through the whole Bible and wrote out quotes and teachings that pertain to marriage so that Dennis and I can really just read it. Thank you so much, hermana. If it wasn't for you, I literally wouldn't even have a Bible. I will link the specific one down below. Now, if you're wondering how I actually study the Bible, I actually use a digital Bible book in my iPad that's called The Bible Study. It is amazing. It takes me through all the chapters of the Bible, the Old and the New Testament. It breaks down each chapter down and it even asks you questions on what you read So it never gets boring. It makes things easier to recall. So this is an amazing resource I highly highly recommend it I also have a journal next to me to jot down any inspiring notes And I love how my Bible has this journaling column to write any thoughts on each section So that's really nice about this one and as you can see my mornings with God are just with God I put this thing away. I do not take my phone with me matter of fact I actually leave it in the bathroom So I'm not getting distracted which is a good little life hack as far as how how much I read in the Bible. I don't necessarily have a plan. I just read whatever I feel like it. I will say I was surprised by how good Genesis and Exodus was so good. I love, love, love the story of Joseph and just hearing his visions and dreams. I think it's so beautiful how much he trusted in God's plan for him. And even when his brothers all sold him to Egypt, he forgives them and understands that if it hadn't been for his brothers doing that and his family would not have even survived like Egypt's famine. Is it famine? Famine? Famine. So the workbook actually asked me, what has God done in your life that you didn't realize was for a greater purpose? until later. I'd question God until now I like realized, wow, like God actually, he took out this boyfriend for me to have Dennis. So much better. He took out a friend that was influencing me in the wrong way. He made me learn how to adapt to a new city, which is something that I just needed to do. There's always a reason why God does things and I truly believe that. If you just trust in God's plan and just have faith in it, I feel like life will just be that much easier. So I would love to have you guys answer the same question down below in the comments. You can pause this video, let me know. I will be in the comments writing back to you all. It's gonna be a 
fun little conversation. So typically around this time, I need to get the hardest thing out of my way to work out because homegirl is lazy. I find that when I do a workout in the morning, I'm more energized and happier throughout the day because my body has already been taken care of. And in the Bible, there's so much talk about discipline, which is something that I'm really, really trying to learn to get better at is waking up earlier, reading my Bible, working out, nourishing myself well. So I wanted to show you some of the cute outfits for this month's Fabletic. Cute workout clothes helps inspire and motivate me. So for my workout outfit, I actually changed into this super cute neutral set, which is what I love about Fabletics. They always have different colors, styles, everything. So if you're more of a colorful girl, there's colorful things for you. If you're more of a simpler girl, they have really cute, timeless pieces, very chic. So I'm more of like a simple, sporty girl. These are high-waisted leggings, which are amazing. So they have a little bit of a compression belt right here. It will singe your little muffin top in. I also have a pocket in here. Fabletics is known for all of their pockets. These do not have some on the side like most of my leggings, but dude, I'm obsessed with pockets. Like anything with pockets, yes please. Then I'm wearing the Kessler Medium Impact Sports Bra and the Pia Power Touch Leg Twisted Back Tee. This t-shirt is so soft, super airy. A lot of their clothing also is perfect for runners, for dancers, for yoga. So there's something in here for any kind of activity. This shirt is super cute. It has a really fun, distinct opening in the back. Really neat. Be sure to check out Fabletics. I absolutely love how comfy yet stylish they are. If you become a VIP member, you can actually get two leggings for $24. That's a steal. Ooh, lemon leggings. Usually they're like 80 bucks. We're literally getting two leggings. Incredible quality and incredible fit, might I just add, for $24. And those are just a little bit of the perks that you get as a VIP member. You get discounts and benefits. Some of them are like 50% off. There's also member only sales and promotions, early access. And I just wanted to applaud them because they have the best plus exclusive collection. Check out these outfits right here. Girls look fabulous. I'm just gonna say. Literally, what is better than having new cute clothing every single month? It's gonna inspire you to want to work out. So if you're interested in checking them out, be sure to check out the link at the top of my description. After my workouts, I love playing worship music. I never thought I'd be this kind of person. God, it's working through me. I'm sorry. I sound ridiculous, but I just feel him and it's, it's been amazing. Like I almost laugh at myself at how much peace and happiness that worship music has been bringing into my life. If any of you guys have any recommendations, please let me know down below in the comments. I would love some insights. I'm totally new. Any recommendations would be well. So usually around this time, I'm getting hungry. I like to make myself a nice little breakfast. Today I was in the mood for rice cakes, peanut butter and strawberries, lots and lots of hydrating fruits. See, I use papaya, passion fruit on top. It's the best combination. So after getting ready for my day, there's a few things I like to do to be sure I'm connecting to God. Number one is leaving my Bible where it's visible. The reason for this is when you see it, you're being reminded of it. Same with like workout clothes. If you leave them out or remind it, oh, maybe I should work out today. That way, if I have any free time in the day, I'll pick up my Bible, I'll read it. Number two is Bible journaling has been so, so fun for me. On Instagram, I've been showing you guys some fun little creations that I've been doing doing like this, just a way to get creative with scripture. And the process is pretty much I start by reading, I see what comes out, and then I just put down whatever my biggest takeaway lesson is. It's also super pretty to look at. If you're actually interested in a Bible journaling video, be sure to comment below this right here. Give this video a thumbs up, that way I could do it next. But also, I know that I'm using a Bible, but similarly to any kind of book, if you are reading a book and you just want to get more out of it, find creative ways like art to really inspire you and assist you with that. You can also try out this method if that's the case. And then I just wanted to share with you some quick tips. Number one is to find a community. This was something that I never had and it wasn't until recently again Thank you, Janine. I'm a pola for creating the abide tribe. You guys have to check out their Instagram It's a private group for ladies We just get together we read passages of the Bible and then we just discuss it community is so important because it keeps you accountable Motivated you feel like you have like-minded people around you so number two reevaluating those that you follow I actually created this it's like a food for thought for you to just kind of ask yourself Are the accounts that I'm following feeding me good things? Are they inspiring me or are they making me feel small? Do I feel happy after seeing posts like this. I think a lot of times we don't realize how much we actually consume on a day-to-day -day basis. This could be through television, through music, the people that you follow in a way that is like our virtual community. I would start with a cleansing of the people that you follow. It doesn't necessarily mean that you only need to follow people that are in a faith-based community, but just like positive influences in your life, I think is so important. And then I'd also just like to share some of my favorite faith-based Instagrams. These are all ladies who have really inspired me to grow closer to my faith. Some of them are lifestyle channels, but they integrate faith into their work. Thank you, ladies. It honestly brings tears to my eyes because you never really know the impact that someone has had in your life. And I just have to say to these ladies, you have had an impact in my life for the better. And I am eternally grateful for that. Finalize, this is a book that I recently got gifted by Horacio 
printing. It is so nice. I believe this is what they call a devotional. So this is a really great way to get into reading Bible without being overwhelmed by what chapter do I read, what do I read. This one in particular is volume three. Jupiter's hairs are all over it. This one focuses on peace, love, growth, and breakthrough. So it says seasons of soap. Soap stands for scripture, observation, application, and then prayers. For instance, today's scripture. Right? Paul writes to the Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God will transcend all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Jesus Christ. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice and the God of peace will be with you. My observation was always put your faith in God. God tells us don't be anxious. God is peace. He wants you to always surrender your worries to him. And I highlighted guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. So I wrote learn your scripture, meditate in the word of God. Kind of difficult to go about life trying to be a good faithful follower if you don't really understand the Bible or you don't have like anything to base yourself off of. Reading scripture, I understand now. And then application, I put I need to read the word daily. Yes, Natalie, you do. Also, I have God's peace. So we must guard our hearts, minds with Christ. So the more I know, the better I can be in the eyes of the Lord. If I search for God, I will find peace. Search for worldly things, I will only find chaos. And then the final thing is just a prayer, which I totally skipped and mm -mm, I didn't do well. But I have loved this. I will also link it down below. So I actually left this part of the video to answer any questions that you guys had. Question number one, why are you afraid that God won't accept you in heaven? If some of you saw this challenge that was going around Instagram, I got real down vulnerable with y'all. That's one of the things I wrote. I'm so afraid that God won't accept me in heaven. That was three weeks ago. I'm telling you, my life has changed and it's been because I've been reading the Bible. I never understood that this is the word of God. God talking to us. I've been taking time to listen to him. I've realized through Janine and Mapola, I was being condemned in my own mind. She says that there's a difference between condemnation and conviction. Condemnation is like what Satan wants you to feel. You are a dirty person, will never be forgiven, quit trying, give up on your life type of thing. Whereas conviction is more like, I know the things that I have done wrong. Now I see a plan to get to where I need to be. I no longer feel that way, you guys. God loves me. I'm working towards bettering myself in my life. I've just seen miraculous things, which is why I really wanna encourage you guys to just pick up the Bible. If it becomes too much of a struggle, reach out to someone, connect with a friend, which actually leads me to my next question. How to make a habit of picking up your Bible every day. Leaving it out where you can see it is a huge thing. If your Bible is over there in the box, you're not gonna remember it. That's the smallest, most actionable thing right now that you can do is just put your Bible somewhere physical and that you can visualize. Another thing is if you don't have a Bible, there's a ton of Bible apps that you can use. Just like rearranging your screen to have that be one of the first things that you see as opposed to like Instagram or Twitter, things that can distract you from. God, how did you stay connected with the Lord with work and stress of COVID-19? recently learned what surrendering was. It's surrendering yourself to God. God wants to take away all of your anxieties, all of your worries. There's actually a really nice thing in here. First of Peter 5, 6 to 11. It says, cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. I've been really using that to remind myself anything that I'm worried about, I'm just gonna put into prayer. No longer just gonna bottle all that up within myself, but I'm actually gonna talk to God. Hey God, this is really bothering me. Please just remove this from me. I know it sounds crazy, but it's work. What is your favorite Bible story? Definitely the story of Joseph. It's so lovely. I love that name and maybe a future child will have that name. Dennis says no. We have to work things out. Have you ever had any special experiences with God? Yes, I have. I've had vision, prophecy, but I do feel like that is for a separate video. If you're interested in that, let me know. Maybe I'll put it on the vlog. Actually, I'm even shocked that I'm doing this video on the main channel. Also now shocked that I wasn't because faith is such a big part of my life. I'm making it more of a part of my life now. I'm going through it, okay? Have you always been close to God or was it like in the past years or recently? More like in the past two weeks. Actually, my mom was Catholic, my dad was Christian. It was always like a pull and a tug in both directions. I grew up going to church a lot. I didn't ever really have a community of people, which is why I think I never really stuck to biblical things. I've never read the Bible until literally two weeks ago. Change is happening. I have been doing yoga to get closer to God. Have you been doing stuff like that? If you actually follow me on Instagram, you would know that I've come to the conclusion that I have been practicing new age thing. I didn't even know.
know. It can be a little controversial, but just follow me on Instagram. I've talked more about it. I have a little story that says caution if you wanna look into more of what new age is. New age is anything like yoga, the law of attraction, Reiki, opening your third eye, all of which I've done. Let me just tell you, I'm going through it. We'll leave that for another video. Finalize, I just wanted to say thank you so much to any of you who encouraged me to make this video. It is because of you that this video came alive. So just know I'll read your DMs. If you are struggling with your faith, I've been there, I've done that. I think faith is a work in progress. I want to continue just striving for it. I will be doing more of these videos if you want. No, if you don't, that's okay too. But on my Instagram, I will be sharing some faith related things. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. I love you guys. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe, hit that little bell. So if you miss me before then, you can always check out my second channel. We post two times to three times a week. It's me and my husband, our life. I just want to say thanks again so much to Fabletics for sponsoring this video. But out of all the brands that I've worked with in the past five years, they have been my favorite. Very easy going, very open to things. Legit stand for what they say. I do appreciate that. Thank you so much Fabletics for sponsoring this video. Check out the link down below. When you become a VIP member, you get two leggings for $24. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.